We're finally ready to start talking about functions after all the preparations. Um, and let's just start. So the functions we're going to talk about at first are going to be functions that take values in R2. OK, so they're domain. They're defined on R2. And their range is going to be R. Okay, so they're going to be functions of the form f of x and y. Okay, and f of x and y is going to be some value which we're going to call z. z equals f of x, y. Okay, so this is the, 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 the closest thing to y equals f of x, which were the functions you studied in Calc 1. Do you agree? Okay, now later on we're going to talk about functions for R th from R3 to R. And in general, one can talk about functions from Rn to R. But we're starting from these because these are the simplest, the ones we can attach to most easily. And further down the course, we're going to talk about functions whose range is no longer R. Those are going to be called uh, fields. Okay, But they're also functions. So these are called functions whose range is R are called scalar functions because the range is a scalar. So any function from Rn to R is called a scalar function, and we're going to start with these. Okay. So the first thing I want to do before we do anything further, before we start, I mean, we're going to have to say everything. We're going to have to define uh, uh, all kinds of properties of functions and, of course, define <coughs> limits of functions and points and then discuss notions like continuity and derivatives and there's a lot to talk about but the first thing is how do I picture a function what does a function look like so the first thing you have to to realize is that your domain is now two-dimensional okay so if I want to draw something maybe let's take a completely new board I'm gonna need three dimensions in order to draw it so Th this was calc 1. There was one axis, the x-axis for the domain, and one axis, the y-axis for the range, right? When I want to draw a function in calc 2, or at least a, a scalar function whose domain is in R2, then I'm going to need the domain to be two-dimensional, and I'm usually going to take it to be the floor, the x-y plane. This is the floor, right? And then the function itself, z, is going to live in, on top of it. Okay? So usually the domain is going to be some sort of um, puddle, I don't know, lake. I'm going to draw it in blue, that's why I'm saying, using those words. So here's the domain maybe. Okay? So what, what you should imagine here is some, some sort of... of, of I don't know, body of water on, on the floor. That's the domain. This is D. This is where the function is defined. OK? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? And the function itself, for every point in the domain, for every point x, y here, here's a point x, y, here's a point x, y, the function has a value, z, f of x, y. So for every point, I'm now leaving the picture and doing it in real life, for every point, the function has a value. For every point, the function has a value. For every point, the function is a value. Okay? So the graph of the function, the graph of the function, think of the domain. Above every point in the domain, there's a value. Right? So the graph of the function is going to be some sort of blanket, some sort of surface in three space whose that lies only above this pond here do you understand do you agree can you picture that okay so and the way we're going to draw it is maybe say maybe something like this okay so this is a think think of of uh, maybe think of your bed that's always a nice thing to think about um, before you go to sleep which is also nice and you, you know, take your sheet and spread it over your bed and right before it lands, whew, there it is. Okay? 
That's the graph. This is f of x, y. Okay, so for every point down here, let's take some more colors. For every point down, down here, there's a value. Here it is. This is the value of the function at this point. And at this point, there's a value. And at this point, there's a value. And it only lies above this domain. Is it clear? Is it clear what this picture is trying to, <coughs> to express? Okay? And this is something we're going to have to get used to. And it, it's not easy to, easy to draw these pictures. In fact, usually it's hard to draw these pictures. We're going to know how to do it in very simple cases. Okay? But this should suffice in order for us to build the theory. Okay? And, and construct the definitions and the theorems and then generalize them and then believe them for R3 and, and, and even for cases where we can't actually picture or draw the graph. Okay? Okay, one more remark. If you take, if you take any line, any line down in the domain, so let's think, for example, of this line here. This is a line, this is a line on the floor. I put a line on the floor. There it is. Do you see it? Okay. So in particular, this part of it, from here to here, is in the domain of the function. Right? So for every point, let, let's dot it here, because this part is not in the domain. But this part is in the domain. Right? So for every point here, the function has a value. Do you agree? Okay. And what do the values look like? Well, I don't know. Maybe the point here, the value is here, and here the value is here, and here the value is here. But in total, what I'm going to get is some curve up here. That's the value only above these points. Okay, maybe let's, let's say this is this end point, and this is this end point. Okay, is it clear what I'm trying to say? Okay, and, and the point is that above a given line in the domain, the graph of the function is just like, imagine, cutting with scissors above that line. Cutting your sheet, don't do that before you go to sleep. Cutting right above that line. And what you should see here, hidden, just this red, is a graph of a one-dimensional function, where the variable runs along this line, and the values are up here. Do you see that? Can you imagine that? Okay. And that's going to play an important role. Okay. So above any given straight line, we just have the graph of a one-dimensional function. Raise your hand if, if, if you understand what I'm trying to express here. Good? OK, let's do examples. Very easy ones, for starters, but let's do so. So here's our first function. f of x, y equals x squared plus y squared. Example. I want to draw the graph. I want to understand what this function looks like. Okay. So remember that f of x, y is the z value. Okay. So th this function is, another way of writing it, is z equals x squared plus y squared. Do you remember what z equals x squared plus y squared was? We talked about it when we talked about quadratic surfaces. Ah, now that's, that's cheating opening your notebook. I asked if you remember, not if your notebook remembers. OK, so let me remind you, let me remind you, uh, the surface, the surface, z equals x squared plus y squared. We wrote it as z equals x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared. But those are just parameters. You can take both to be 1. So this is a paraboloid. OK? In general, an elliptic paraboloid. But since the a and b are the same, this is a circular paraboloid. So Points that satisfy this, wh what is the graph of a function in general? The graph of a function are all the points, okay? What, let's take a step back. Take a step back for a reminder. 
reminder. The graph of y equals f of x, that's calc 1. What is the graph of, of y equals f of x? Is all the points, you take all the points of the form x comma f of x, where the y is f of x. Do you agree? That's the graph. You just plot all these points. Do you agree that that's what you mean when you say graph? Right? So what is the graph? The graph of um, z equals f of x, y. What is the graph of z equals f of x, y? What is the graph of z equals f of x, y? It's just points of the form x, y, and the z is going to be f of x, y. That's what we mean by the graph, right? Look back at this picture for a second that we drew over here. The graph, this sheet up here, was all the points x, y, f of x, y. This is precisely a point of the form x, y, f of x, y. That's what we drew. Those are these points up here. Do you agree? Okay. So back to our example. We want the z to be f of x, y. So z is going to be x squared plus y squared. And we know how to draw these points. That's a paraboloid. We drew it. Okay. So the picture, the graph of this function is going to be... Maybe let's take a different color. First of all, what's the domain going to be? What's the domain? Where is it defined? For all x and y, right? So the domain is the entire xy plane. Do you agree? So it's, it's kind of a big ocean, the blue puddle down here. Okay, so it's defined for any x and y. And the graph is going to be the surface given by this equation, fxy equals z. So we know how to draw that. We drew it several times. Okay, it's a paraboloid. Looks like this. Etc. And it, of course, goes on forever. So this is the graph. Clear? This is the graph of the function f of x, y equals x squared plus y squared. Is everybody with me? Are you following? Okay. And if you take, for example, let's take a straight... So, so the domain we said was everything. The domain is the entire x, y plane. Everything is in the domain. Let's take a specific line in the domain, in red, like we did before. So let's take the x-axis. Suppose I take this line here, the x-axis. It, of course, continues over here in the back, right? So I take this line here. And I want to ask, what is the function only above this axis? Okay, only above this straight line in the domain. Do you see that this line that seems to be sticking up here is actually lying on the floor? Do you see that? Okay, this is, you have to get used to visualizing things in 3D. Okay, so what this red line is, is a line on the floor, and I want to ask what are the values of the function above this line, only on points on this line. So points on this line, what are points on the x-axis? Those are points for which the y is zero. Do you agree? So when the y is 0, what is the value? x squared. Okay, so the z equals x squared. So the value, maybe let's draw it in, in I don't know, orange. Above this line, the picture that I'm going to see is, is, is a parabola here that looks like this. Like this, and then it continues here in the back. This is...
Okay, is it clear what I'm trying to say? So above this line lies this parabola. This parabola is sticking out at you and going to the back over there. Clear? And this is the parabola. What I drew here in orange is z equals x squared only in the xz plane. Clear? Is this clear? Everybody? Okay. So, I think that by now you can appreciate and can understand that we're not going to be able to do much more than this. Okay? The formulas for functions are going to have to be very, very simple in order for us to draw them. Okay? Usually when we get a function, a, a formula for a function, we're not going to know how to draw it. Okay? And we're going to have to do everything just by kind of understanding the phenomena that go on without the actual picture in front of our eyes. So even if I say, let's say x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus y, not doing anything tricky, I don't know how to draw that anymore. Okay, I may be able to, I may work a bit and, and figure it out, but if I add here sine of x times y, that's it. I'm lost, completely lost. Okay, but I'm still going to be able to do calc 2. Okay, I'm not going to build all my, my intuitions and knowledge and, and ability to practice calculus in, in multivariable on being able to picture the graphs. That's kind of how you start in calc 1. You're going to have to say bye-bye to good old pictures, okay? And still be able to, to survive. And it's, it's going to be doable. We're going to do it. People have done it before, okay? Any questions about this? Is it, is it clear that from now on when we want to draw the graph of a function in two dimensions, the domain is the floor or some part of the floor and the graph is some sheet up here? That's, that's the important thing to pick up from this introductory discussion of functions. Okay, good? Okay, so uh, next we're going to start discussing a uh, limit. Before that, we're going to do one more thing, which is, um, well, I'll keep it a secret. We'll do it next time. <laughs>